Hey guys, as you know, we are minting the Tensor Bidding Bot on this Saturday. I wanted to get the weekly rankings distributed before I make this video. I've been testing the bot myself for the last seven days uh, and I got the position of 137. This is the weekly position and my total position jumped to 2000. One thing I forgot mentioning about the Mint is it has buyback guarantee. It's basically refund. If you are not happy with the product for whatever reason or if the price falls below the mint price, you can just return it to us between the 20th and 13th days after the mint. So basically it covers all of our users. As you know, this is a closed mint for only NFT net pass holders. You can read the details about the mint on this page. The links to those pages as well as to the guide are below the video. I think next week I will make it into top 50, but we will see. I'm saying this because now I know what to do. Uh, I actually tested two different accounts with two different strategies last week. Uh, this account has been bidding on Madlets, and then the other account has been bidding on Transdimensional Fox Federation. There are some differences. Uh, I'm going to explain them in future as well, but basically on Madlets, uh, you have enforced royalties meaning that if you get hit it hurts a little bit more on transdimensional forces for foxes there is no for enforced royalties so you can get hit a little bit more with less damage uh it's very similar to blur bidding actually on this account i got hit only twice and i've been placing my bits dynamically on medless actually i've been placing only one bit so as you see my uh, balance here is 183 solana however my bit is only uh, 163 i'm keeping my position dynamically in the top 10. Uh, i was actually a bit greedy uh, when i got hit uh, because i was keeping my position in top five back then and top four i think and then there was a dump of five or six so i instantly my bit instantly got accepted however right now i'm taking it a little bit slower and while keeping myself still in top 10 i am in the lower positions i think it's good enough what i'm going to do next week is i'm going to increase my balance and i'm going to aim for top 25. however you don't have to bid on medlets uh, on my other account i've been bidding on uh let me show you here transdimensional fox federation i started this account with 20 solana only and i went up to a hundred and i got in first 600 positions still so uh and there is another thing this one doesn't have a tensorian stake boost so if you buy a tensorian and stake it you get a little bit of boost actually it doesn't even matter as you see it is 1.05 in the other one it is only 1.1 so it is 0.05% multiplied. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, but obviously the other one has been performing well because it has more balance and it has been bidding on medlets. Even though transdimensional foxes have more overall volume, uh, I've been bidding with less Solana on this. Let me open the application and show you how the system works. So if you are already familiar with blur bidding, it's pretty much the same with minor differences. So for instance, I will pick my uh, collection, my template here. Um, one of the main differences as opposed to blur is on blur, we are trying to utilize our budget with bidding as many collections. Here, the system only gives points for the collection and your bids, which are generating the most points. I actually explained them all uh, if you go to tensor bidding parts, everything you need to know, as much as I know, obviously, uh, are explained here. So, uh, just uh, what I said, like, you don't have to do the same strategy uh, because only one collection which is generating the most points will give you the most points and the other ones won't count. So, there is no point of exposing yourself to many, many other collections. But anyway, these are all details. Uh, I pretty much, I think I explained everything here. So I strongly suggest you go over the uh, documentation. I also put some real-time examples. Anyway, if we go back to the system, so this is my max bits. I'm not going to go over the details. There are 100 videos about them. 
This is the amount I am undercutting. As you know, this, this is also different than Blur because on Blur the undercut amount is 0.01, the minimum undercut amount. Here the decimals are a lot higher, so you can put well, values like this. I'm un undercutting the bidders by 6, meaning that the system is positioning my bids on the 7th position. And I am using an end condition, meaning that I expect the both of these conditions to be met, not only one of them. Uh, Having said this, you will still get hit depending on the size of the dump. And I also should say that the uh, tensor system is not working as fast as Blur. Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean. For instance, I am currently on my VPS placing my bits on Transdimensional Fox Federation. Uh, the system, let's hide the trade bits. Yeah, I'm placing my bits here. So my bids are placed here because I'm both undercutting the top bidders and I'm also asking system to put me on a specific position. Probably I typed something like 10 or something. So there are other bots which are changing positions as well. On Blur, if you have been using our Blur bot, you know that we react instantly. However, on Tensor, because of how their system works, uh, the bot takes like 10-15 seconds to adjust its position. And then other bots adjust its position too. So it is like a loop. So you keep adjusting your position in these top positions where depending on your settings. However, it is still helping you to be in the top positions 724, which I don't think you can do it manually, especially because of the decimal values. Uh, manually, I would say uh, it is pretty impossible to do this. Uh, but I mean, not impossible, but it will be extremely hard. So yeah, uh, you will get hit 100%. If you are competitive, especially in the top 5 positions, you will get hit, even in the top 10 positions. But it is still going to be a tremendous help. And I'm very happy where this system is right now. I think it is the most advanced Solana or Tensor bidding bot. I don't think there is any other. I mean, probably there are other bots, but they are more like custom bots. Ours is not more like software as a service. Uh, so I think it's the only one of its kind for the time being. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I see you on the mint day.